Hey guys, this is Mr. Foster, and I wanted to do a quick screencast on the e-portfolios. Uh, I wanted to address a few things that I've seen in some of them, and hopefully this will help you in improving your e-portfolio. Uh, so first thing I'd like to do is uh, show you how do you get to the directions for the e-portfolio. I think most of you can figure that out, but in Canvas, any one of the units that you go to, towards the bottom of the unit there's always a link to the portfolio because that's usually when uh, we're working on it is towards the end of the unit. Uh, it was introduced at the very beginning of class also. So anyways most recently uh, unit 4 was our last last unit of quarter 1. Um, if you go down to the bottom of unit 4 then you should see an ePortfolio link there. It says Honors Biology Portfolio Unit 4 Entry. Um, and so you can click on that right there and then it should bring up the next page for you there and you should be able to see the directions here let me pull it down a little bit um, but anyways what I wanted to address were a few things that I saw in the ePortfolios with uh, some errors in the template that I gave you where no, where individuals didn't um, make sure their, their table of contents match what was below in the actual content um, students forgot to put their name in the title um, and some individuals struggle with their unit analysis not underlining the key terms things like that not addressing all the concepts so hopefully I can help you improve on that and some issues with the the science literacy items um, so we'll go through that but anyways right here I'm not going to read to the whole thing, but you can definitely get to the main directions by clicking here. Here's also the template that I gave you for everyone to follow because we are now we are doing this in Google Docs, and you are going to uh, keep all of your unit analysis and all your artifacts in there. And remember the idea behind the portfolio. So if I click here, it's going to take me to the directions. Is that this is where you demonstrate in almost like diary fashion what you're learning in each unit and what you're learning in the class okay and so these directions are specifically set up to help you do that and we went over these in class now a few changes that I have made to hopefully help clarify expectations on this and you can read in that but some of the formatting issues that I saw so again follow this template which we'll go to in a minute use 11 font when you're writing all your literacy items in your analysis also the spacing go ahead and use 1.15 inches spacing and instead of underlining and you don't have to go back and change this now but in the future bold print all the key terms in each of your unit analysis when you when you're writing up your analysis of each unit what you learn when you're telling me what you have learned okay um, and so what I want to do is go to the actual template here, but this these directions lay out everything that should be in your por portfolio, your e-folio as they call it. You should have a title page, table of contents, your, your written analysis of each unit, and that's usually the biggest piece right there. And this is in your words, okay, written paragraph format. I don't want definitions here. I know you can define the word. I want you to use it in context. That's what I'm looking for. Um, then you're going to have two artifacts of work that you did in that unit, okay, showing the, the things you worked on. Uh, stay away from using tests and quizzes for that. I want to see actual assignments that you did. And then you've got literacy items. These basically demonstrate you know how science works. Okay. Three of them are about designing an experiment, being able to read a scientific report or article and then also showing a whole investigation that you've done. And the last one just gives you the opportunity to reflect on any activity and it's right here. We haven't done that yet up to this point but for this first quarter check that I did you did do one in class which would satisfy the scientific experiment and the reading and understanding scientific report which was your case study study you could have used that or you could do one on your own so the guidelines for all those are right here so the template that I gave you look like this and we're doing this in Google Docs so once you open this up you're able to go file 
make a copy, and now you own this. It's yours. So you then get to modify it. And you need to modify it because I saw a lot of submissions where people didn't even touch this. They just left it like this. And this doesn't match what we currently did in quarter one exactly. First off, you need to make sure you put your name here. I got a few submissions where people put my name in there. This ain't my. This is not my e-portfolio. It's yours. Got to put your class period in here. Make sure your date is over here, and then make sure you go in and put in the correct title of each unit that we've covered in the first quarter. We didn't do five and six, so those don't even need to be there now. If you're struggling with what the units were called, then go back to Canvas, go to the modules, and take a look. There you go. There's unit one, two, three, and four. Those those are what should be in your table of contents right there. Uh, so let's go back to the template. And then your science literacy items, you only did A and B, and then you want to match the pages up. And then below that, what should you see? Well, your unit analysis. There's the first one. You write in your information here. This is where I see you demonstrate to me uh, in your written words and using those key terms in context okay right here now where do you get the information that helps you write your unit analysis well that's back here in the directions if you scroll down to the bottom of the directions below a copy of the template what I gave you here's what you'll see right here you uh, portfolio unit goals and guiding questions and it gives you that information here and here's unit one and I gave you some bulleted prompts that you can use to help you write your unit analysis and then these are the terms that I expect to see in context in your writing for that unit because these are the things we learned about in the unit and then here's unit two so we usually do these before every unit test I give you time in class to do this you gotta make sure you use that time um, and here's unit two Here's the prompts to help you, what you should be writing about, and here are the here are the key terms that I would then see bold printed in your analysis of that unit. And then here's unit three, the same thing. And then there's unit four, and this was the last one for the quarter. So that's all I expected to see up to quarter one. Now I'll add in more as we continue through the semester. Okay, so now let's go back to the template. And actually what I'd like to do is go back and look at an example so this is one that I pulled from Rachel and so you can get an idea of what it looks like so she did a nice job she put her name in here got her class period we got semester and date and then she did take and modify her um, table of contents to match all of her artifacts and the unit names chemistry of life actually she did miss one right here so notice right here Take a look. This is flow of matter and energy. That's not our unit four name. Our unit four name is molecules of the cell. Okay, so that's something that you got to make sure you check on. Um, and I saw a lot of that. And then uh, down here you got scientific processing, reading, and understanding. So A and B are what I should see, and then the pages where these things would occur, which she's done a nice job on. And then you can see as we scroll down. Sure enough, there you go. She's got her unit analysis heading and then unit one, process, nature, science. So this matches the table of contents. And she's gone in here and in context, she's used the key terms and she's underlined them. Now this has been changed. In the future, we will bold print these. Uh, and we will also make this 1.15 uh, paragraph spacing. But no, you don't have to go back and change it if you haven't done that. Some of you might be able to need to go back and make some improvements on some of these. But you can see she's done a nice job here of going through, and she's written a pretty nice uh, unit analysis here using her key terms. And then she's included Artifact 1, and she's named it Isopod Lab. So she used her Isopod Lab as an as a artifact here, and it's cut and paste. And I think that's probably what we're going to move to is just cutting and pasting artifacts in here because people are struggling with linking them in. Um, and taking pictures of them are fine, but if you take a picture, make sure it's big enough for me to see it. And so 
she's got that artifact and then she used this artifact in here which was a handout we did so she's got that pasted in here also nice uh, we could scroll down she's got what here another artifact for the chemical basis of life that she's put in and so this one's looking pretty good she's got some pictures that she took now notice they're nice and big and I can see them so that's a key piece of this also okay so I just wanted to make sure that I pointed these things out so that you could see what one would look like um, I'm gonna go down to the bottom part here and see what she put in for another artifact which is nicely done from the online text here's her literacy so number two literacy items and literacy item A experimental design scenario she could have put that actually in the table of contents which is, is I think she had that in there I'll have to go back and check but she used um, an activity we did in class to show that she knows how to write an experiment uh, so she's got that all listed in here and then she used her case study for the reading and understanding of science and that is all listed in here also with the article so done accurately very good so hopefully this helps and you're getting a better idea of how to put together your e portfolio because we will continue doing this and that's all